Amen. 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 I want you to do your best in the different events today. Parents, thanks for coming to support the children, teachers, and everybody else, sponsors. And with those few words, I formally declare the 2024 Special Education Sports Program open. Special needs students came ready to have fun and ready to meddle in the many sporting and fun events organized by the Special Education Unit on a special day. The fun events followed a match pass of special needs athletes all decked out in their colors, complemented with banners and cheerleading sides. Education Officer for Special Education Dale Seji says the initiative is a great way for students from the various special schools on the island to meet and have fun along with their parents and well-wishers to build relationships and most importantly to boost their self-confidence. It is a wonderful thing when children with special needs can engage in sporting activities. School does not only build the mind of a student but it it builds the body, it builds their coordination, it builds every aspect of them. I also want to recognize the fact that today is an extra special day. Not only is it inter-special school sports, but it is the World Down Syndrome Day. Now, let me see, who's wearing fancy socks today? All right, I bet you yours are not more fancy than mine. Mr. Sergi says wearing colorful mismatched socks on Down Syndrome Day is a conversation starter to share information on the day's observance and how individuals can become allies of people with Down Syndrome. Acting Deputy Chief Education Officer Cyrus Sipal says the event is not just for the fun of it, but to raise awareness of the issues facing special needs students and says this event can translate into greater things for people with special needs. Sports teachers, I want you to identify these athletes who are very good so then we can see them on the international stage. Okay, because we know there is the Special Olympics and we normally have some persons representing St. Lucia. So we want to see some of these students moving to the next level and be on the international stage. Mr. Sipal also threw out a challenge to the Special Education Unit to put a team together following the staging of the event to be part of a special mission to Dominica where students can compete and relate with special needs students in the Nature Isle. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.